good i'm your host jason in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to use gumroad to build email lists while gumroad is popular for being a platform that allows us to sell digital and physical products it can also be used to build your email list how would you go about doing this well the first thing you want to do after creating your gumroad account which you can do for completely free you don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up once you are signed up to Gumroad, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Once on the dashboard, what I would recommend you do is select products from the top left hand corner. After selecting products, you are going to tap on new product in the top right hand corner. From here, you are going to create your offer. So for example, let's say we are targeting persons that are interested in affiliate marketing or interested in the nomad lifestyle what i would recommend you do is offer them an ebook so instead of selling them an ebook we are going to be giving it away for free so for example we would add in our ebook name right there i'm just going to call it test then we would select ebook after you have done that you are going to scroll down and where you see price your product you're going to simply type in zero after doing that, you will tap on next and customize in the top right hand corner. After selecting next and customize, from here, you could add a quick description if you want. After doing that, you're going to scroll down and you're going to add your ebook cover or your offer cover. So for this example, we'll be using Canva. And Canva is a popular platform that you can use to create practically any digital product. So for example, I can go onto Canva and type in ebook. After typing in ebook, I'm going to select multiple pages. Then from there, you can see different templates that you can choose from. Keep in mind that any template that you see with the pro, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber to use that particular template. But don't worry, there are always numerous templates that you can use for free. Let's say this one. So we'll tap on customize this template. From here, you'll be able to share your information. So you could change the title. You can change the contents right here. After you have customized it to your liking, you will tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then we're going to tap on download and we're going to first change the file type right here from PNG and we can change it to PDF. So you could select PDF print right here and then you'll tap on download. And after you have downloaded your ebook or the offer that you're planning to give your viewers, you are going to tap on share once more, then tap on download. And from here, we want to download the first page, which would be the cover page. And we are going to download it as PNG. After you have downloaded the cover page, you are going to go back into Gumroad and you are going to tap right where you see cover. You are going to tap on upload images, then tap on computer files. And we're going to select downloads after selecting downloads you're going to simply select the book cover then tap on open once it has been added you're going to see it in the preview window right here so you can see how our offer looks then we're going to tap on content from the top navigation bar then we're going to tap on this icon that says insert file then you'll tap on computer file after I tap it on computer file, we're going to add our PDF, which is the entire ebook. Once it has been added, you're going to tap on publish and continue in the top right hand corner. So you're going to tap on that. And from here, if we were to tap on preview, you'll see how the product page looks. So you can scroll down and you can see right there that it is for free. So all you will need to do now, you'll simply close this preview. And you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and from here i want you to tap right where you see workflows you're going to tap right there then you're going to tap on new workflow after selecting new workflow from here you could give it any name so let's say for example i, I will still use test after tapping on that you can see right here you can select a customer purchases so you could tap on that and you can also select whether you like to continue sending emails to persons that have purchased in the past. So you could do that. So you could create a whole customer base right here. 
and then from there you can scroll down and if you have more than one products listed you could simply select the ebook offer that we had created and you could add it right there you can also scroll down and from there you can leave this as is you can decide when you would like to send it after doing that you're going to tap on save and continue then once you have tapped on save and continue you can tap on create email after tapping on create email from here you could create your newsletter so you could create your newsletter right here you can also use canva to create a newsletter then from there you could upload it right here so for example you could create a newsletter on canva then all you'll need to do you could tap on attach files and you could upload it right here after doing that you can simply tap on add email you can also choose when it will be sent so for example hours after purchase days after purchase weeks after purchase you can select that right there after you're finished you'll tap on publish and it will now be live so you would have created your first workflow right there so this is a good way how you can use gumroad to build your email list another option that you could also do is for example we could tap on emails right here from the left hand menu option after tapping on emails from here you could select subscribers after selecting subscribers from here you'll be able to share your subscribe page so you'll be able to add this if you already have a website you could simply add this newsletter sign up on your website for example if i were to add it right here you can see how it looks so you could embed this newsletter sign up on your website if you want all you'll need to do is simply tap on share subscribe page right there and you could copy it or you could tap on export right there and you could download it if you want so this is also a good option another thing you can do when you publish your emails you can tap right here and you can continue adding new emails that you can quickly share to your audience as you can see right here by going over to the left hand menu option you'll be able to choose the audience that you would like to share it with hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.